What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing good. Today with me, I got this Freightliner uh, 2016 with the code SPN3250 FMI3. But the first code that it popped in, it was SPN3250 FMI32, which almost the same. They're both kind of related. Uh, they both deal with the DOC temperature sensor, which is the outlet temperature sensor. And I'm going to show you guys what to look for and uh, how diagnostic and how to remove the sensor. So as you guys can see, I removed the step side on the passenger side. And the DOC outlet temperature sensor is located right here. I don't know if you guys can see. But right now it's a little hot. So if you guys are going to work on it, let it cool down for at least an hour, or two hours, or three hours if you guys have the time. So... Uh, what I did is I unplug it from right here, the connection, the harness, and then uh, part of the troubleshoot is to um, look for any um, wire rubbing or anything like that. But if you can see, you guys can see it here, it's a missing uh, part of the insulation, part of the uh, uh, protector. So uh, as, at first you can't see it, you know, but if I turn around the wires, look at that. So this right here was causing the problem. And with that, when you get that code, um, what it's gonna do is gonna derate you um, 25, sometimes to 55 miles per hour, or sometimes uh, um, uh, 10, I'm sorry, five miles per hour. So I do have the new one here. I do have the new one. And uh, what it tells you to do as well, is to uh, use a multimeter and test the resistance and then um, so but if you guys see any any of these problems like that you don't even have to do the resistance just change it or if you guys are on the road and uh, and then you guys need to move out of there uh, what I would suggest you guys to do is if you have any tape because you can see the wires are still connected if you guys have any tape just uh, make sure they're not I mean just cover it up and then um, plug it back in there and just make sure it's not touching any of the one box it's not rubbing anymore but in my case I'm gonna replace it so I'm, I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna heat it up a little bit here with the with that little torch and then uh, use a special socket to uh, to remove this but right now it's really hot so I'm gonna let it cool down so I uh, let it cool down a little bit and so we're we're gonna use a special um, socket this is 1116 I have an adapter here to the bigger ratchet uh, half inch drive so we're gonna put it like this, like that, and then we're gonna move it. We're gonna use a lot of. Um, we're gonna pull it, loosen it up, pretty much. So in this case, uh, I already loosened it up. Mine is already loose. Um, it wasn't hard to remove it, but uh, my. This socket here is 1116. I'll suggest using a, uh, a 17 millimeter, the same, same, uh, same type, same style. So uh, after you loosen it up, I suggest using um, a 17 millimeter uh, wrench to loosen it up. Uh, for th in this case, it was uh, it came out really, really easy. Sometimes. Um, the truck is if the truck is old and um, and it uh, is all corroded and so um, really hard to to turn so I suggest what I suggest to do is um, is to heat up this area here so you're gonna have to heat up this area and then um, 
without heating it up the without heating the sensor too much just heat up the area and then go slowly just try to uh, loosen it up uh, worst case scenario um, you're probably gonna have to cut here so you can put a regular socket on it like a six point socket and then use that but uh hey you know the, whatever is easy for you guys uh, for me it was really easy to do this but i sometimes in the past i have really hard time getting it off and i know you guys probably uh if you're gonna do this job is just expect for the expect for the worst you know so um so it, this is the outlet temperature sensor. Broken wires. They're rubbing. They were rubbing into the one box, and I'm gonna put the the new one on it. Put the new. And same thing. It just goes in there. Slice it in there, and then um, tighten it up, and then just don't over tighten it. Just let it let it sit, you know. Don't don't don't, do, don't go too crazy for the next guy. He might have have a hard time removing it as well. So, yeah. Hopefully, this video was helpful enough. And uh, thank you for watching and subscribe.